Hello and welcome to another session. In this video, we are going to talk about something very amazing. And this is going to be a very good news for you that Arduino actually started looking into industrial automation domain. Yes, you are hearing it right now. Arduino releases Arduino PLC ID. Arduino PLC ID allow you to program by using five standard languages as per International IEC standard 61131-3. Languages include FPD, ladder logic, structured text, sequential flowchart, and instruction list. Complete set of monitoring and debugging tools are provided in the software as well. In this video, we are going to talk about what would be the future of Arduino PLC. Is it good enough to compete Siemens and Alan Bradley? Many people asking this question whether Arduino will replace Siemens and Alan Bradley. If in the case you wanted to know that, what would be the future of Arduino PLC, how to get a software for Arduino PLC, and how to get started. Stick to the end of the video because today we are going to cover all these areas. Let's understand how to get a software for Arduino PLC. Let me get a laptop in front of me. I have provided the link of this website into the description of this video. All you have to do is you have to come up on this page and here you will find download the PLC IDE. Once you would click on that, it will take you to another page which looks like this. Here you can actually, here you can actually download Arduino PLC. For a download, you have to go to this icon over here and you have to click here. And for sure, it asks you to contribute. And if you are, if you, and if in the case you wanted to contribute, it's your option. But if in the case you don't want to, then you have to just click on just download. It will take a while and then it would allow you to download the program. Save. And then this is a very, very simple application. You can start using that applications right away. Download is already started then you have to simply do the installation process next. I will guide you shortly how to do the installation. You can see that we got an Arduino setup ready for us. You have to go to the downloads and just start running the setup. Run as administrator. It would ask you to go to the next, 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 install, now click on the launch and finish. Now you can see that the project has been already opened. All you have to do is you have to click on new project and name anything. For instance, first project. I'm writing it that now you have to click. This is your target PLC. You have to just select OK after that. Now you can see this interface would come up in front of you. So you have to click over here and add new program so you can simply do that like this new program and then here as i said before these are the five languages supported by arduino plc ide and that's what you can see over here instruction list fpd ladder language st and then sfc so these are the languages that uh, these are the languages that are supported over here so you have to simply click over here for instance here you have to name the you have to name the program like for instance i would write first and then click okay these are the question marks that appear over here the program is asking to put something over here that's why we're going to be defining some local variables over here for that we have to right click over here and insert for instance i want this to be a very simple program light underscores switch so this is a button for your light. So after that, you have to define addresses. For addresses, you have to go to mapped and then because this is your input, so you have to select input and then select OK. You can see that you got in this local variable defined as input. So after that, you can right click again and insert new. And here you would be naming it, for instance, light and then with the address you can always select over here map and then you would map it 
and you are going to be mapping it with output. And in order to assign that, all you have to do is double click over here, double click over here, and then come up over here. And then here you can see the light switch. This is your input, you can select that. And for the output, you can simply, uh, for the output, you can also see that. So here, for the output, you can also select from here. This is your light and then select OK. Once done, then simply you have to come up over here, save the project. In day-to-day -day life that you, when you go to any room, you would have to turn on the light button in order to turn on the light. So there's a switch that you have to turn on. This is the same program that you would be actually, this is your switch and this is your light. When you will press the switch, you will get a light on. This is how you're going to be programming in Arduino PLC. It's my personal feeling that Arduino still need to work a lot to improve their programming environment in order to compete Siemens and Allen Bradley, but they are very good enough to give it a start. And it's very, very impressive start at the start. But yes, they are in the right track. I hope in future Arduino will be a very very good tool we would have a uh, future coming sessions for that you have to stick to this youtube channel subscribe and for sure you have to write in comments that if you want me to make a detailed tutorial about arduino plc id that's all for today if in the case you like this video consider hitting the like button subscribe if you haven't yet until next video take care and bye bye